You've probably already heard that Hiluo, or Minimax, has released version 2 of its video model and how extraordinary it is. What? You may or may not have heard of it, but you're still interested in my take on it? <laughs> That's great! Welcome back to the channel, where we discuss the creative uses of AI, and AI video certainly falls into the creative category, at least in my book. I don't know what book you're reading. Today I'm going to show you a few examples that I have done with the platform, but I got to tell you a little caveat here is that when they first reached out and said, hey, we got a new model, it's fantastic with prompt adherence and physics, go for it. So I just kind of went for it, but I have since seen far more impressive examples of what this model can do before I used up all my credits doing my silly little videos. So let me show you what I just saw this morning and I was like, oh my God, what a wasted opportunity I had. But then I'm going to show you my examples anyway. You can find this on the Hiluo main page. It's the first little example video, at least as we record this. So notice along the bottom of the video, they actually have the prompts that were used to create what you're watching. It's pretty mind blowing. That is crazy. The physics that were demonstrated with all that circus stuff is unlike anything I've seen. I just can't even believe it. Now let's go look at my dorky examples. Because of course I did remember that this was supposed to be strong in physics. I used my Rube Goldberg prompt to create a very complex machine that's supposed to do all kinds of crazy complex things. And it's all about physics. So I won't read you this whole thing because it's very long and involved. But of all the Rube Goldberg generations I've done, and I've done a handful of them, this is by far the best. Uh, far and away, it comes the closest to following physics laws, although there's a lot of magic going on as well. I find this to be extremely impressive. And that was my first generation. That was pure text to video, so I wanted to obviously play with some image to video as well. This is the starting image. I wanted to try and be specific with my prompt to test the prompt adherence. So the troll pours his beer on the man with the black shirt's head. I think I worded that weird. And then the man with the black shirt coughs a baby chick out of his mouth, which jumps around the table as the two laugh. And in all of my examples here, it did a pretty good job of the second half of the thing. But getting the troll to pour the beer over his head or my head was a problem. I had a lot of great laughs and things like that, but this part here was distressing to Tracy. So, I don't know, it's hilarious, but I couldn't get it to dump it over its head. In addition to generating video on the Hiluo platform, they also have a very high quality image generator. And so to create some base images to test the image to video platform further, I created a set of images right here on the platform. Bigfoot is meditating in a field beside a campfire. I did get a great set of images to choose from. And when I used the Hiluo 2 model, I modified the prompt a bit. Camera pushes in on Bigfoot's face as he is meditating in front of a campfire. As the camera gets close, he slowly opens his highly detailed bright blue eyes and looks directly into the camera, which is precisely what he's doing here. Here I modified the prompt and added that he slowly opens his highly detailed dark red eyes reflecting the fire as Bigfoot snarls angrily and looks directly into the camera. I wanted to compare the text to video quality on all levels between this new version 2 model and the original. A very detailed prompt here talking about a dog waiter basically serving pasta dishes to cats in an Italian restaurant. And this is one of the outputs from the version 2 model. And this is another one. Both of them have a great vibe. We've got nice photorealistic cats here. There's not a lot of weird tearing or blurring. It looks great. Here is what we got with the version 1, the previous version of the Hiluo model. Still not bad and great a week ago, 
but very cartoony in nature and not as photorealistic as the other one, not to mention the fact that it must be a ghost dog because he walks straight through the table. Here's another example of the version one output where he does a fun little flourish to get the spaghetti on the table. Ta -da! And this time walks around the table like a non-ghost dog. But I would definitely say that the quality of the version two is far superior. I started with this image, just a shot of the pool empty there and put a giant sea serpent emerges from the pool and slithers onto the pool deck, moving toward the camera with its mouth opening. So we got a lot of great fun physics here and pretty much exactly what I was expecting. Here's another image to video example. All I did was just drop this in and give it a couple of camera directions because this new model does allow you to put in camera directions along with your prompt. But the model came up with everything that was going to happen in this, including the forward motion of the pirate ship, the blinking of the eyes. Here's just another take on it. I didn't change a thing. I had just asked for two generations originally when I did this, not realizing how I was burning through my credits. Here is another text to video prompt. Handheld camera macro photography of a spider spinning a web around a captured fly. There are dew drops glistening on the web, which is affected by a slight breeze. In the distance, we see a lake with a couple in the canoe rowing by. It didn't miss anything. On this particular one, we don't see a little fly here. We see a spider. However, in this generation, we do see a fly, even with the wings trying to get away and the canoe in the background. It's just amazing. Here's where I gave it a prompt adherence test that it basically failed, but the movements are still impressive. A magician spreads some playing cards to show they're all different. The deck is closed up and an ace of spades is pushed into the deck. The cards are immediately spread to show that they have all become the ace of spades. Not exactly what we get here, but Still interesting hand movements. It's like they got a magician to do this. We got that fluid ma magician hand movement. Here, I just changed the style of it and said it was a whimsical 3D animation of basically the same movement. Didn't get really that much better prompt adherence in terms of the aces and what I was looking for there, but it's trying. Here was the image of a minor looking guy who looks somewhat similar to maybe a cousin of mine sitting on a glass bed on the side of a cliff ill-advised, especially when I'm typing prompts. The bed starts to break apart from the mountain as the man tries to climb to safety. The bed breaks free, sending debris flying as the camera tracks the man as he flails his arms as his body plummets towards the ground. Wow, it followed my narration exactly. That is some pretty good prompt adherence. I know it says a lot about me that I've tested this falling off a cliff thing several times, but this is the best one so far. Here's a fun one. POV close-up camera tracks a paper boat as it floats down what begins as a gentle creek then turns into a rushing whitewater river where the paper, paper boat morphs into a real pirate ship. So we didn't get a morph as much as we did a, hey, look, there's suddenly a pirate ship here. But other than that, it followed everything great, and I only gave it one chance to do it. Here's another prompt adherence comparison between version 1 and version 2 of the Hilo model. The prompt is, there are three columns of pizza boxes in a parking lot. A baby elephant wearing a blue and purple oversized hat walks into the picture and stops in front of the second column, turns to face the camera, and sprays water from his trunk. This is the version one output, and we're not really seeing all three columns, but I really like the hat, and maybe we can assume this is the middle one. It's not a terrible job, we just don't see all three columns. Here is the version two. This time there are three columns, and although he doesn't walk squarely in front of the center, he seems to favor the center one, and that's where he sprays the water. However, I like the sort of the detail, certainly of the hat, and all of that better in the first one, and maybe I just needed to be more specific with details and then we would have gotten a little bit more detail on the trunk. I really didn't give it much to work with. And a lot of these models that are great at prompt adherence want you to test them. Otherwise, they're just going to give you a simple thing. That's really the bulk of what I wanted to say about the Hilo 2 model. But while I was here creating videos for this, I used their image generator a lot for starting images. And one of the features here that gave me some just amazing results is using their reference character. And that's how I created all these images here with people looking through the peephole and the subsequent animations. What I love about these is what these characters look like given what I gave it to create the character and that's what I want to show you right now. So to create a reference character in Hailuo all you do is click here and you upload an image. Now these images here like this and this and this and this and this all these oddball ones they're all just Snapchat filters and I took a picture. It's not even that high res. That's really what I want to show you here. This picture, that's what I sent it. That's all the detail it had. And yet it generated a series that looks like this. So real, even with those exaggerated features. But any detail that was lost in the original is brought back in abundance with these models. And it's the same for all of these. 
For example, this character with big eyes but basically no detail going on in here gave me shots like this that just really seem like you're looking at some crazily designed human through a peephole. So the same with this and this and this. My point being, you can get such great results and create insane looking characters using Snapchat filters or some other program that twists your face up a good bit, but I like the Snapchat filters, and then use these crazy faces in animation. So my favorite lip sync technology right now is the Act 1 over at Runway because I have full control over the facial expression while I'm delivering the line, not to mention the delivery of the lines themselves. So I like to generate a lot of bass videos to put that voice over on top of. Here I used the same prompt on a lot of these images going back and forth between the version 2 and version 1 model because for what I'm doing, I didn't really need to use the credit on the Hilo 2 model. Here I just created these disturbing little videos of just a little bit of movement, no talking like that because I knew I was going to put lip sync on top of them. So once I've got these, I take them over into Runway and using their Act 1 feature, I can create a driving video. Hi neighbor, did your gibbity lib it too? Mine's all over the plate. I got and then bring in one of these videos that I created in Hiluo of just the person sitting right there. And then when you run that over here, you end up with things like this. Hi neighbor, did your glibbity libbit too? Mine's all over the plate. I got it all on the floor. My glibbity and they did my earned flowing. How about you? Before I wrap this up, I have to tell you about Agent. Unfortunately, I used up all my credits because I didn't know Agent was coming. But Agent is an interesting little game changer. All of these videos were created using this. Let's just pop in on one. No. Oh, oh, oh. No. La police. No. No. I don't get it either. If you click on try it now, it will tell you, please enter four plot scenes, such as eating lunch in the bathroom, arguing with someone, crying at the desk, or smoking under a street light. And that's what created this video, eating lunch in the bathroom, and then he is then arguing with someone, and then he is then crying at the desk, and then he is smoking under a street light. This kind of thing has gotten pretty popular. Upload any image to turn it into jelly and slice it open. So you would click here and upload an image. I actually did do an example of that. It added the music and everything. This was the original image, by the way, that it turned into jelly. Enter four food names to generate four miniature chef cooking videos. For example, mango, watermelon, sandwich, and hamburger. I will definitely be keeping an eye on that and probably do another video on it because it looks fascinating and some of the examples are mind-blowing. If these are the types of things you like to stay up on top of, well, so do I, and that sounded weird. But why not subscribe to this channel anyway? Doesn't cost you anything. And uh, this is the kind of stuff we talk about all the time. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will...